Hello everyone, moving on to the next topic of module 3, maxima and minima of a function of two variables using Lagrange's conditions. So now this has a procedure to follow, you have written it down. For a function f of x, y, so the function will be given and the extrema has to be found. Firstly, we need to find the first derivative dou f by dou x with respect to x and dou f by dou y, first derivative with respect to y and then equate, equate both values to 0. So then we'll find some values x1, x2 and y1, y2. We can take it in the coordinates manner. So x1, y1, x2, y2 and use the coordinates of the extrema. Then we say find second derivative with respect to x, second derivative with respect to y and second derivative with respect to x and y. So I'll call this as r, t and s for convenience. Then for every point found in step 1, so we have these points over here, x1, y1, x2, y2. For every point found in step 1, calculate r, t and r, t minus s square. Then we have to check our result. So our result can be, of the, can be where your r or your t are less than 0. So you have to check either one, r or t. And r, t minus s square is greater than 0, then we can say it's a maxima. If r or t is greater than 0 and rt minus s square is greater than 0, it's a minima. If rt minus s square is, no, is less than 0, then we say no extrema exists and this is called a saddle point. If rt minus s square equals 0, we say further investigation is required. We cannot determine what the point is. So then here's an example. Examine this function x cube plus y cube minus 12x minus 3y plus 20 for extreme values. The first step is you have to take the first derivative with respect to x, first derivative with respect to y and equate it to 0. On equating it to 0, we get x is equal to plus or minus 2, y equals plus or minus 1. So now using this, we have four combinations of coordinates. 2 comma 1, minus 2 comma 1, 2 comma minus 1, minus 2 comma minus 1, which is whatever written here. Stationary critical or turning points is what we call these coordinates. So then again we can make a table to make it look organized. We have r which is a double derivative with respect to x. We take the original function f of x and we take a double derivative with respect to x. S is x comma x and y. T is going to be double derivative with of y. And then you say r t minus s square. So r into t becomes 6x times 6y minus s square which becomes 0. So now we take the values 2 comma 1. So x is 2 we put 2 over here. 2 comma minus 1 same thing. So you put x is 2 over here and you solve it to get your answer. Minus 2 comma 1 minus 2 comma minus 1. Here since it's 0 it doesn't matter. Here 6 y. So you put y as 1, y as minus 1, minus 1 and 1 to solve it. Now rt minus x square is 36xy, so you put 36 times 2 times 1, like that, you put it in, you will get your 4 values. Now you need to check the condition at every point, so then you say 2 comma 1, okay at 2 comma 1 your r is greater than 0, your rt minus s square is greater than 0, so according to your cases that means this is a minimum. You can even see that your t is greater than 0, so that it doesn't make a difference. So you can either consider r or you can consider t. So we say r is greater than 0, rt minus s square is greater than 0, hence it is a minimum. f of x comma y is equal to f of 2 comma 1. So now we have to find the value of the max of the minimum, sorry. So f of x comma y is f of 2 comma 1. We substitute it in the original equation x cube plus y cube minus 12x minus 3y plus 20. On substituting, you'll get you solve it, you get the answer 2. Minimum value of the function is 2. Then you check at 2 comma minus 1, your next point, 2 comma minus 1. Here you see rt minus s square is less than 0. Since it's less than 0, you see it as a saddle point and there's no extra mark. Then you check at minus 2 comma 1. Again, rt minus s square is less than 0. So you say function has no extra mass. It's a saddle point. At the last point, minus 2 comma minus 1. rt minus s square is greater than 0. But r at this point is minus 12. So it's less than 0. So you say the function has a maximum. 
f of x comma y again we put minus 2 comma minus 1 which is substituted in the original equation we get the value 38 so you say the maximum value is 38 the minimum the minimum value is 2 then we have find x comma of f of x comma y equals x cube plus y cube minus 3 a x y now over here your value will depend on this on the variable a so f of x comma y is x cube plus y cube minus 3 a x y again same steps as before 2 f by 2 x 3 x square minus 3 a y 2 f by 2 x is 0 x square minus a y is 0 2 f by 2 y 3 y square minus 3 a x 2 f by 2 y is 0 hence your y square minus a x is 0 you are just taking 3 common and putting it on the other side now you may not always have the stationary points given to you like in the previous one what we could directly simplify it over here we can't directly simplify it so, so we, what you have to do is we take this equation 1 x1 minus a y equals 0 we get a value of y as x square by a and we substitute that in equation 2 other times you might have a linear equation you might have to solve so we substitute in 2 we get x y square minus a x is 0 so we take x power 4 by a square minus a x is 0 we simplify it we get x is 0 or x is a and these are your two critical points or stationary points or turning points now when x is 0 if we take y equals x square by a if x is 0 y is 0 if x is a y is a so now we have our two points 0 comma 0 and a comma a r equals 6 x so again do double derivative with respect to x double derivative with respect to x and y double derivative with respect to y and rt minus s squared so 6 x times 6 y minus minus of minus 3 a the whole square so at 0 comma 0 if you put x as 0 we get 0 if you put x as a we get a again over here it does not matter since it's independent of x and y so minus 3 minus 3 0 6 a you are taking your y as a y as 0 and rt minus s squared so that's 36 xy minus 9 a squared so this is going to be 0 0 and minus 9 a squared comes over here if we put a comma a so this becomes 36 a square minus 9 a square which comes 27 a square now a square is always going to be positive you take you take a as 2 you'll get 4 you take a as minus 2 you'll still get 4 so a square is always going to be positive therefore at 0 comma 0 this value will always be negative and this value will always be positive so now we take this condition at 0 comma 0 you can see your r equals 0, t equals 0 and rt minus s square is less than 0. So we say this is a saddle point. Now at a comma a you have multiple cases. You take the case 1, we say a is a positive value. So if a is a positive value, our f of x comma y is going to be minus of a cube. Again x cube plus y cube minus 3axy I believe it is. Yes, minus 3axy. So for the positive value of a, your r will be 6a at a comma a, at 0 comma 0 is 0, at a comma a r is going to be 6a which will always be positive and we know rt minus s square is already al always positive. Therefore we say r is greater than 0 and rt minus s square is greater than 0, this condition matches that of a minimum. Hence if a is a positive value, a comma a is a minimum and the value of the minimum is minus a cube. But what if we take a is a negative value? We have to consider all cases. So this is this is for one function where we say a is positive. This is for another function where we say a is negative. Then f of x comma y is minus 5a cube. Over here we get r is less than 0 and rt minus s square greater than 0. r is less than 0 because of 6a I believe. Yes, 6a and rt minus s square and rt minus s square is greater than 0 so 27a square is always greater than 0 so r is 6a if a is a negative value it will be negative you put a negative value of a in 27a square is still going to be a positive value hence we say this point is a maximum and if a comma a has negative values of a it will represent a maximum where the value of the maximum is given by minus 5a cube 
so this is essentially a case where this is a case where a is positive and if a is positive the minimum is minus a cube if a is negative the maximum is going to be minus 5 a cube these are two separate cases do not consider them as the same case otherwise you'll think how can this value is lower so this should be the minimum no this is a separate case from this one that's all